I don't know. People still drink Kool-Aid. I know they still Wait sell it. Hey, that ain't funny. Seriously. I'm serious what? business, man. We had some Kool-Aid once and there wasn't enough sugar. Uh -huh. <laughs> you drink it anyway. No. Uh -huh. No? What no. you do? Mm -hmm. got, Court syrup. Got mad and kept it to myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't stupid. I wasn't paying my own bills yet. I wasn't ready to you move you out. Were, you were. <laughs> you were. You were. <laughs>
the blue a cartoon, right. a cartoon. The blue I, don't know, blue I, don't, right. I don't know about all that. Yeah, well, what, but it, you said it was yeah. a cartoon. Yeah. Was it a cartoon like the kind that like was on TV? Yeah. Or was it a cartoon Hannah that Bob. was like album cover art? Yeah. It was both. Which one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. That's, that's amazing. Okay. Well, um, perhaps we'll think of it as as, as time goes on. Do you remember on. any of the lyrics? Yeah. Could you help us? <laughs> Benny and Cecil? <laughs> we all live in a yellow song. The Beatles? There you go. I oh. never knew, you're right, I never knew that was your favorite song. There you go. Really? I never that knew, right? I never you know. knew that you were Now you into. know some. Now you know. Now you know. Yeah. The, the more you know. Trivia. The more you know. No, well, that's, that's been, well, that's been copyrighted. So we're not stealing that. We're not. We're no, not stealing that. That was the album, right? No, what? The Submarine album. The Yellow Submarine. Yellow was, submarine. That was an album. No, it wasn't an album. It wasn't part of Abbey Road. Yeah, I think it might have been. It was its own album, wasn't no, it? No, I don't Yellow remember that. Submarine? Well, it might have been because well, it, it might have been. It, it has no, no remember it was a movie? So that album might have been the soundtrack for the movie. Could have been. Because they did, they did Yellow Summer, didn't they? And the first one was Hard Day's Night. It's been a hard I, day. It wasn't was help. help. Huh? It wasn't help. No, like I, I think Hard Day's Night came out before help. It's been a and hard then that came out before. Can't before, buy me love. Man. Before it was Can't Buy Me Love. Uh, beat the Beatles. Like that was the first one. Then you Rubber Soul. No, I want to hold Beatles. your hand. That's that was, was the first one yeah, the on first. Meet the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Man, that's not true because long before. To me, that's not true. How are you going to tell me what my favorite song is and it's not true? Because you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would that would do it. That would elicit okay, an answer. Okay. You had your song you used to sing all the time. Uh, maybe we take out your teeth because I want to suck on your gums. <laughs> what? Remember that? No. You don't remember that? No. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure that was it. <laughs> no, no. It was probably because of the big fat woman I had. Did you? Oh, that was Joe Tex. Yeah. Ain't gonna dance no more? Well, yeah. no big fat woman. I remember that? That, that was right Joe Tex. I lost my drum set behind that song. You lost your drum set behind that? Really? Yeah, man, because I went down there in Portland to play with a group that was developing down there. Uh huh. And Things got so bad down there and stuff, you know, the dude didn't want to pay us or nothing like that. And I was stuck down there with no money. So you had to come on. Don't go back or not. Hey, shit. Drunk. Careful. Down the street. You could have pawned it. I could have. I should have. I, I didn't even know where I was. At so you just plain lost it? I you sold just it left to one it? of the band members and moved on. You should have got a few dollars. It was for just it. that silver one I had, remember? In the bay? Kind of, sort of. Maybe. Also, I Pearl, play, I, I Pearl. played on it a couple of times. Yeah, and that one. Or shoot. maybe three. That's a classic now. Is that the one that was in your mom's uh, downstairs? Was no, that James? No, that, that's oh, no, no, that was yours. Jake, my, my son has one at my house. It's an old school Pearl. Yeah, he got an old Pearl. I got but an old gold. But it was, you know, it's red and, and, you know. But I got his was silver. Yeah. The, the. Yeah, fiberglass silver. Yeah. So. You were busy joining the army and not. <laughs> I know. Remember that. Going, <laughs> you were busy getting party yeah, strong I mean, for you. But that was one of his songs. That was one of the. Going, he wanted to do like who, like a comedy he musical who, he who, trip, you know, with the band, uh, and with, that was uh, one of their songs. He, he who. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean? Oh, I thought you were talking yeah, about Joe Tech. That was Joe his Tech. performance. That oh. was. That was. Oh, because when you said. Your text and you lost right. your drums. I'm thinking you got deep. <laughs> <laughs> Big fat woman. <laughs> Big fat woman. No, no. I did a drum set. Just kind of fell on this day. We did a gig, and after the gig, I went home with a big fat woman. I think, but I remember. 
I'm hoping it was a woman, because I'm going to be a woman. There's some balls from the <laughs> Okay. You know what? When you yeah, start with a Muslim woman, I hope, you know, yeah. let's not Get into try that. your memory. Let's not get into it. Let's just go with a Muslim woman. Let's start with that. That was one of the songs, That's the only one he could sing and perform right. Who? So we only had one song to do a whole like two and a half hour show. <laughs> you did a two and a half hour big fat woman <laughs> show. <laughs> That's what it, it, everything with him was your text up the good ones, you know, like uh, uh, take her off of her, put it on me or something. I want. And then anything else but that and then he wanted to play country music. The country I could get with. But the music and, but, No, <laughs> well, I had band members in there that didn't like playing the country music. Well, some people, but that's what was getting us paid. But some, I mean, you know, yeah. well, hey, because we we haven't you haven't introduced the big fat woman character. Maybe you want to tell everybody who the somebody is that just went in Portland. Big I can't woman remember that dude's hours. name. Uh, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't even remember if you, I remember Khalif played with Dennis Blackman and them, and we had the players Dennis come Cameo. out. Was, wasn't when, that cameo? He's yeah. the one who introduced yeah. me to them dudes down there. I went down there with him and Dennis. Dennis, Didn't wouldn't even, Dennis did Let's one practice and mm -hmm. came back. He, came, he did one practice and then he came all the way back. He said, no, I can't do this. Down in Portland. Yeah, in Portland. So, so we should have all followed him, but we didn't. So who set up the gig? And what was the gig now, in Portland that you were doing? We played uh, Tiger. What is that, Tiger? Like there is a, a Oh, in Tiger? Yeah. In Tiger. Yeah. Okay, so you were playing at a bar. Yeah, we were doing like a little circuit round. And there. with who? What was your band you were with? I don't know who did this dude was. Like no, what was the name of the band? There wasn't no band name. It was oh. just... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, here's a bunch well, of guys that got fellas, instruments. You know, there's like one no, of no, no. Bobby <laughs> Taylor's and the somebody or some shit, you know. No, 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 no. Bobby Taylor was with the Vancouver. Yeah. We know it was don't with the No, no, be a Bobby Taylor was with the Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Tom, Tom. Tom. Tommy Chong wrote that song. Yeah. Uh, Co-wrote, Does Your Mama Know About Does Me? Does Your Mama Know About Me? Does she know just who I am? Right. Yeah. Does she know that I'm not? You could have sung that song. Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm proud of no, my no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, Tommy, yeah, Tommy wrote the song. Oh, man. And he's down. a really good guitar player. So you we know got down he's messing there. up he in the just, movie. He, but he the bass really... player was tripping. He had the nose plug on, right? I was plug. playing in Tiger because they were asking for a lot of country. So, so he, he put a nose plug, plug on. He put a nose plug Wouldn't on. it have been better to use earplugs? Did he not want to hear what you guys were playing? Yeah, he said or he didn't want to smell it. No, he, he, wanted, wanted, to he <laughs> wanted to get that country play. <laughs> I don't even try to get it. Well, I'm out here. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I can't say this. He's the bass player. That was auto-tune for country people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Intermission. I stood off into our little sets and stuff, you know, say hello to the people and stuff. I stood off into the bathroom because I had shit, man, you know. Well, so, yeah, good place to do it. I went in there and I'm sitting in there. Evidently, yeah. nobody else saw me go in there. So two white dudes come in there with the cowboy hats, the overalls, and the you know flannel shirts and all the yeah. shit like that. Right. He said, oh, "That bad, they so bad, and everything." But they kiss her with their nose plug. <laughs> it all started going downhill from there. They didn't like auto tune. Yeah, that kid okay. drum set, that first drum set I wanted. Oh, wow. Anita Wu bought that for me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. <laughs> you have a, I got something to say, oh, my goodness. Can you put on a shirt? He said, I know about Anita Wu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Anita, Anita, Chink was Anita's uh, albatross, if you will. Albatross? It, well, it, it, it seemed like Chink. He, he hung Jake around could, her neck? Yeah, he could get whatever he wanted, and she swore she couldn't do that. And her parents wouldn't let her do it, and she always tell her parents and everybody what she was doing. 
They'd always go, no, 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 no. And he'd always get it. Are we right. going to need to reshoot this with fake names? <laughs> More like <laughs> some of these people. Right. <laughs> and by the way, oh, I'm not going to do music. I'm not going to do nothing against country music. I'm a philosopher. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I philosophize with anybody. Yeah, well, you know, you got to follow up with those them country folks. Country folks. Yeah. Country country music. You got to listen to some yeah. country oh, music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my, my girl is in the country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, be be it, they be telling it like it is. Well, you like said, God, you're no longer with us? What? Who? I mean, I don't mean, hear. Who? Oh, because no, wait, the no. internet <laughs> he goes to Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> only, only the only the Linwood. Yeah, anyway, let's rethink this, man. Yeah, but country music, hey man, hey man, hey. <laughs> we're not down in country music or not. I know, I know, it's a gold there. I know, you, you know, but it's the story. You know, you know, you know what you get when you play a country western song backwards. No. Get the dog back, you get your house back. Anyway, that's true. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm ready. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My favorite song is by the Sons of Chaplin, uh, To the Sea. Oh, hey, I kind of like that. Uh, it's about, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He said everybody know that one. <laughs> Fine. No, okay. no. I'm going to be, do me some Santana right now. It's about, no, no, it's about the two first time we talked about no, about it's doing a music no, 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 but this, you know, this, is Santa, this is Santana. What? Ain't no Coco Puffs. Ain't no Coco Puffs. See, I never knew that. Oh, all. mine was, ain't no soda pop. <laughs> Get my burrito, ain't no soda pop. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Yeah. Oh, I know, it's terrible. I don't know, people still drink Kool-Aid. I know they still Wait sell it. Hey, that ain't funny, seriously. I'm serious what? business, man. We had some Kool-Aid once and there wasn't enough sugar. Uh-huh. You drink it anyway? No. Mm -hmm. No? What'd no. you do? Mm -hmm. Got Hard syrup. Got mad and kept it to myself because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't stupid. I wasn't, wasn't, yeah. wasn't paying my own bills yet. Yeah, I wasn't ready you to wait, move out. You wait. Wait. <laughs> I still had to stay home for a while. Yeah. 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 Best Kool Aid you ever made, Mom. <laughs> yeah. 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 How many times have we great. said that to our mom? Yeah, you know, well, complimenting yeah. her on something she did really nice for us and stuff like that. How hard was that for y'all? It was hard for me. I mean, it was very Because she never believed anything that came out of my mouth no way. Well, yeah. Oh, I see, mean, I, I, I had a different plight. Uh, I, you know, it was never hard. I was pretty much a mama's boy, so it, it was easy for me. Thank you, mama. I was I was a serious mama's boy. I mean, I was so ma mama's boy to the point of, my brother would do something crazy on my sister, and, 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 and I'd go, my mom would get on him. <laughs> get on him. Get on him. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I didn't do anything about bad. That. A mom was yeah. sending yeah. her child to go whoop this little boy up for messing with her, his little, her little sister or something like that. Uh -huh. She went beat the little white boy. <laughs> the mom? The, the mom was standing there and told her daughter to go. Oh, yeah. Them. You saw that one? I have. I've, yeah, I've seen yeah. a few of them. I thought they tried to put a case on her mama. And the thing about it is, is I don't necessarily disagree if if children are fighting. Listen, go get your brothers and sisters and jump yeah, them. That's I, the way it always was. I'm though. with that. Now, Unless you didn't have none. The problem is, is with all the technology... When that stuff happens, it just happens. You go on about your day. Now with these videos, it plays over and over. And then you be like, man, this is violent. You start to think yeah, really. too deep on what's happening. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. people just need an ass whooping. That's yeah. real to me. Yeah. But now it's like, ah, nope, that's a case. It's like, yeah, it is. It is. It's like, <laughs> all the way on the deep end. That, that TikTok, I see why they want to stop it, man. Because it's just like, it's crossing lines that we didn't even think exist out there. What, what TikTok? TikTok, man. But, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm checking need... with the producer. How we doing on TikTok? We're doing actually really good on TikTok. TikTok's great. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 It, it, it does expand the world. You said it, it, it's things we would never even think about. That's true, and that's not always necessarily a good thing because it's opening your mind to some crazy stuff, but also, we are so in our bubbles in our world that we don't know what is happening. So that, I think that's part of the good part of... Entertainment and entertainment. Well, no, TikTok, TikTok is great until they politicized it. Yeah, All but right. you can now politicize they, anything that's no, a platform. No, no, no. no, but what they're saying is... Oh, we can't use it in government offices because it's a listening device as well, and it, you know it, it transmits as well. Oh, what the hell was grabbing by the yeah. pussy about? Every that? everything <laughs> everything is a listening device. That's a, a cell phone that has Siri. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But now they're going, and and then other governments around the world are going. No, we can't have TikTok in government offices because they're listening. I'm going, well, then you better get rid of all your cell phones. You better get rid of all your computers. You yeah. better, y'all better and just sit there CIA and, and, get the way. That, and get an abacus. Yeah. You know what it is. Right. You know what it is. Everything's is, a listening device. Right, right. Uh, governmental people, even though that a lot of them work for the government, they are people first. And what's happening mm -hmm. is just like regular people in their regular jobs they go to work and they be like let me tell you the bullshit about my job mm -hmm. and then they give you all the back see now if somebody in the government starts doing that exactly. that's a problem yeah. exactly. i think that's why they want to shut it down it's that's like it. too many and, people are and, talking and, yeah people yeah. i mean you know they're just right. folks that just, i sure want to figure out what they're they they talking about oh <laughs> everything that's <laughs> they ain't talking about no stimulus well, shit. Oh, <laughs> no, no, shit. No, uh, but the thing is humans have trouble Keeping secrets, a lot of them. Well, think about that, though. Man. But no, I mean, and think you of, got the CIA. But you think, of, but think about, think about how, how these 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 women were spies for one or the other side, and they would like the pillow talk. They would go with the flow. Yeah, and they and these guys would start talking about this stuff that they shouldn't be talking about, and so that's what they're worried about. All of this. Guys yeah. just letting secrets out, you know, and and thinking that they can trust this person, and they're just letting out secrets, yeah. you know. And the, the government had a whole thing where they was getting people high on acid and shit, and and bringing right. these girls in. Yeah. High on acid and giving them syphilis too. Well, Here's a little I don't know fun all that, fact, but your smart TV, if you looked in there, you will find a camera. There's yeah. a good chance, mm -hmm. you Probably. know. We're talking about like. That's why we, we don't have sex on the couch. Hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm telling you. Now. <laughs> on the couch. If you want to stop <laughs> from watching you, I can't be like, no, no, we just turn the couch. <laughs> <laughs> spring break. This is what you get when you look at me. <laughs> no, it's a bed. Turn it around. Forget about it. But you know, I mean, the thing is, it's not, it's not like a paranoia thing. But you know that everywhere you go, there's, there's cameras there's surveillance. and there's super surveillance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know why people keep trying to get away with That's shit because they're thing. always I'm on glad camera. I'm you said that, man, because, you know, when the United States released the sixth generation jet, they were showing some of the radar technology and surveillance technology there. That's been declassified. You know, that thing has uh, x-ray. Yeah. So they literally look through buildings. Oh man, they showed you. They show. They show you sparks of that stuff in movies. Hey. See, that's what movies be about. That movie, that Easter egg the movie the Eraser movie. with yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. where they had that gun that looked through the walls uh, and found your oh, heat yeah, signature yeah. and then sent a blast. Man, come uh, on! But the scanners were like that at the me. airport too. Yeah. Pardon me, but True. do you remember how they found ET? Remember that? How they found oh, was that? Yeah. Boy didn't what? Find no. They was in the garage or somewhere yeah, with and they ET. These guys were riding around with a mic stuck out of a van and listening at people's conversations. And when they got to the point, they heard the little kids talking to ET. That's how they found them. That was that thirty was years yeah, ago. How long ago was that? Right, right. Mm. So you can imagine what they got now. But right. I mean, they were literally in a van. <coughs> 
had a, had a, what a they're wife, coming out with. and they would stop in front of the house and listen to what right. the people were or saying. Or you think right. about, think about now, the most school yeah. movies, like the old James Bond joint, and like the high tech. Oh, yeah. So and like I in DC, I've been to the spy museum. You know, all that stuff mm-hmm. like intrigues me. But you think about the technology that existed that they denied for so long. Right. And it's like okay, now that we know this was true, what else? Well, prior well, to you know, it's saying, like, where you at now because if you was there then yeah yeah where you at now right, right but you right. can't go back to the moon hey well <laughs> well actually, i mean have them explain it to me a- actually actually they're planning on it now they got they're a whole plan- yeah they got a whole new a whole thing. new and it's going to take aka a whole new three. they got a whole film new- studio they got a yeah. whole new a whole <laughs> new rocket <laughs> <laughs> they got a whole new rocket and they're starting the, the the next. They're they're trying to <coughs> send somebody to the moon within the yeah, next few yeah, years. Yeah, they've been to Mars. So, yeah. but can't go back to the moon, which is supposedly. I I or, just yeah. cannot. Well, they can't go back. They lost the moon. Yeah, they lost the. They, they, lost, the they lost the. I should have looked that up to to show it for you. Yeah, um, they but lost. that's that's the other thing. Is I'm like, okay, to get to the moon, let's just say no people on it. Just a machine to get to the moon. You're telling me we couldn't get there if we tried because we lost technology. But you can get to Mars, which is farther than the moon. Right. It's called a pit stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just turn the rockets off. Let it fall. Yeah, it's right. Oh, it's crazy. Thing. Yeah. And another thing, the Russians actually got to the moon before we did. But they didn't have a man. Yeah, they had a man craft. Dude. But they on one side over here landing so and taking the giant leap for mankind and all that shit. And the Russians just said, "We can't stop it," and it crashed into the moon. But they was trying to go. They was trying to okay. send a craft to the moon okay. and and collect samples of moon <laughs> moon dust. And, and I guess moon rocks, <laughs> and then fly it back to the earth. Hey, random thing about moon it rocks. Crashed. <laughs> random wow. thing about moon rocks. Did you guys ever hear about the the NASA guy who stole the uh, samples of the moon rocks and went oh, and oh, had sex on it with his girlfriend? Oh, uh, what did yeah. he do? They had sex on the moon rock particles and say they had sex on the moon. That would be really. I think he went to jail. That would, uh, <laughs> that, would be, that would be really uncomfortable. I'm saying, I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know how big these particle rock particles were or if it was no, dust, like, they whatever. Back all kinds of Once dust. you put it down, you can't pick it back up. <laughs> well, well you, what you do is you put a blanket wow. down, and then you put a, a blanket on top of it, and you have sex. But the dust is in your asshole. And it wasn't only dust, it was particles. It was like moon... Broken moon rocks and stuff. But then you snorted. I don't snorted. Nah, no, man. Hey, what, what if? Hey, <laughs> okay. Real question. What if, uh, like a Tyrone Bigum from the Chappelle Show, uh, 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 right. a dude who was really about that crack life, right, got a hold of some moon particles? You think that and snorted it? If it was really from the moon, right. You, you know, think they, that would get you know, them an approximation of high? Are. They did it with that. Uh, mm, or is that just that? dust? What was that no, one? The monster no, bomb? No. What was the bomb? What? The one where they did it with the ghost bomb. Ghost bomb. The bomb from outer space? Yeah. yeah ghost bomb. Yeah. What is what? it? What? Who was what? in that movie? Let me think real quick. Man, oh man. There's a few people in that damn movie, too. They had that movie, How High, where they smoked the dude's ashes and they got right. really smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. Movie. They smoked the dude's ashes and they got smart. Yeah, yeah. so their friend they, died, he, but he, he was, was like a, a genius. A genius. Okay. And these two hood dudes, they go to college and they smoke his ash. First, the first time it was on accident. They right. like rolled his ash and smoked it. And they were like brilliant, passing That's all smart. these tests. And so yeah. <laughs> they had his ass in an urn. So every, whenever they needed a boost, they'd roll them up. And roll them. <laughs> that, that was a country song, too. <laughs> Willie Nelson had a song that said, Roll me up and smoke me when I die. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, right. that's right. That's that, right. That was a country song. Really? Right. Willie Nelson. I wonder what oh, I roll so it so yeah, what would you one. get <laughs> if you smoke somebody's ashes like me and my friend who's in? Tennessee, uh-huh. that drank copious amounts of Mad Dog. Um, Probably who, both. Who, who knows? Both. I, 
who knows? Like, I would. I wouldn't. I. I, I, I wouldn't buy it. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here I you go. Nothing happens to that. That's available. Here you guys go. I'm gonna play this for you. Hold up. I'm not gonna get it. Uh oh. It's just technology so, stuff. Yeah. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. But going to Mars should be uh, one of the next series of steps that humans... <laughs> okay, so that has all the background music behind yeah. it. But this is part of the documentary. But this dude was like... I think I saw that. was the guy talking? Was that? He's a NASA... NASA uh, uh, well, okay. Yeah. But he, uh, but he okay. said, he said, he didn't say they lost it. They did, he did they actually just say they destroyed. destroyed. He no, he said they destroyed. Destroyed, yeah. Actually, he did say that. I misquoted. So, so if, why was they destroyed? To keep the Russians from getting it? Or the Russians what? already went, though. That's, That's the problem. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Aliens didn't but they never, not. But they never Spread took the a word, man. You know? But they Aliens never took a man um, vehicle to the moon. Well, listen, let America tell it all you need is some duct tape and foil, and then you should be covered. Well, That's what did. the lunar lander would look like it was made out of. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you're they, right. They, they, <laughs> pretty much. They fixed one of the, one of the what do you call them things, uh, uh, capsules mm. with an ink pen. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that story? It was, I don't know, it was Apollo yeah, 11. Yeah, Apollo. It. Might, have been 11 might have been Apollo 13, the one that... They should. They said probably a we're not. We're not, we're not going to use it. Number thirteen. That little clip on part. But, but that one where they where where yeah. actually they didn't say Houston. We have a problem. But that's where that that was Apollo yeah. thirteen. He also I guess said that, 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 that might have been said, the one. Look they at them. They're, he said, "See them." Who? Aliens? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they're not on the moon. moon. And he said, "Yeah, they, what are they doing?" They said, "They just watching us." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, and I don't know what to believe because I don't know if I believe went to the moon, but I also believe like there's got to be other stuff out there. We yeah, definitely other stuff out there. I don't know. Well, we're just you know, they're, they're giving a rash of sightings to Mexico and Africa. But why would? But why? Why would we, as a race, that being human, decide that no, just because this happened here and all of these. Billions and billions of stars, as Carl Sagan used to say, with all of these billions of stars, that this is the only place that could have sentient life. Yeah. yeah why are we that fucking arrogant? Why are right. we? Why exactly. you know? Exactly. And why do we think we're the only ones that speak English? I think it's it was uh, well, alien it green. Hey, you know what, Loki? It was an alien when you think about house. movies and all that stuff, I mean, now they're better than you sometimes. But back in the day, everything spoke English. Yeah. I mean, like it was an animal. English. English. <laughs> English. Like, English. This is dumb. Because yeah, if I go to one more Taco Bell and somebody come up in there speaking Arabic to me, man, in that. What? Uh, Farsi? <laughs> what, what, what the hell is. What? Farsi? Me and my only almost got an argument over there because we didn't understand what this woman said in there. She was, well, <laughs> I, they're supposed to be Mexican working in, like, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> So I was going to chime in on this McDonald's, but you know, I was like, you know what, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> you know, right, man? If you go to an Asian store and all of a sudden an Ethiopian come out selling you Asian food, would you buy it? Probably. Well, have I been there before? I've been to an Asian <laughs> store where the Ethiopian cook. Hey, I hey, was in North yeah. Carolina. Up way in the Great Smoky Mountains, okay. in an isolated place. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was one store, right? Right. So I walk in, I get what I want to get, and I come up to the counter. And this Asian woman comes out to us in a southern accent. Is that all for you? <laughs> I, I yeah. lost it. Yeah. I was like, what? What's the comedian? What's the comedian? Uh, somebody you or something? Who what? He's a he's an Asian comedian, but he's straight up oh, yeah, out the uh, south. Uh, what? I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, I mean, Bobby Lee. Lee. Yeah. Lee. yeah. yeah. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Lee. Lee. Boy, I can see editing this editing this tape is gonna look like, and we haven't been to but and then uh, Asian. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like all black men are racist. <laughs> 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 
you know, it's fun all, editing this thing. Pretty much. No, but the whole, the whole thing is, it's just, it's just like the, the stereotypes that, you know, as we grew up, we learned them. That doesn't yeah. necessarily mean we believe oh, good, uh, good. or practice. How hard is it for you to but say? It's, it's just that we, this is, this, this was the environment we grew up in. It might not have been, shall we say, as politically correct yeah. as we are yeah, trying right, to right. make it now. Yeah, yeah. Right. But the whole thing is, people say this and that and that in public or on camera or, you know, but yeah. when they get it's with their, when they get with their friends oh, yeah. and they just yeah. hanging out, yeah. then, that, you know, it's how that, hard is it for you to say Native American and compare it to India? Um, I don't know. You don't even have to say American. You can just say native. Yeah. Native? Yeah. yeah. That could be anybody. Exactly. From the, uh, the okay, person. Okay, like low key, both of y'all have a, such a point. The person? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. We're the person, person, say native. Wait, wait, wait. The person, I'm a native American. The person that lives in the, in the sp space. The indigenous. Exactly. People. And you can, about, well, I ain't you going through say, all of that. I'm talking to somebody it, it, yeah. either a Chinese or you Japanese or you Indian or you, you know, but Mexican. The whole, but see, that's the problem. But that's the problem with, the problem with like, Indian is because there be people from India who right. be like, I'm Indian. So right. it's like, yeah, uh, that's why the country yeah. came in. And, right. I said, but why see, they want to be so separate now? You know? <laughs> no, but the whole thing is because. When the European colonizers got to the place, they thought they was in India. So they just said, oh, these people that yeah. are already here are Indians. Are Indian, because we have reached India. They didn't know there was a big, huge, big old yeah. chunk of land yeah. and two big, huge oceans between where they was in India. But they figured the first thing they landed on India. Then we thought we landed on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was an island anyway. What? That's where it landed. They landed like they in landed Cuba, in didn't the they? Caribbean. Yeah. 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 Or Caribbean. Well, Columbus allegedly. That's where they would. Hey, but the rest, the rest do y'all think what's okay? Because I often be wishing. I'd be like, man, when Columbus came, I wish that they the the indigenous people to wherever land they you know fought a better fight. Yeah. Well, and, you know. and won. What would it look like today? Fast forward how hey. many hundreds of years? Hey. We like, huh? If Columbus lost that battle and got killed and hung from his own well, ship. Well, when they la when they landed, Flip Wilson said, when they landed and they said, "Hey, what's going on?" It was a big party and they was all celebrating not yet been discovered day. Right. Right. And right. so right. so dude said, "I'm here to discover you." He said, "Yo, y'all better take discover your ass away from here." Well, that's right. Okay. Right. Now, if that had really happened, <laughs> that would be great. Know, we 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 might all be we might all be Native Americans. They're very peaceful people. Right? How soft were they? Well, no, they not recognize one. Well, I see. I see this. But that if, other if you're party the, wants, if you know, if your life is gun before. but if your life is peaceful and you grew up peaceful, or whatever, you would just assume that these guys have peaceful intentions. Yeah. yeah, and then when the other folks came down, like in the in the south and central America, then what spirit America, left them vulnerable? Like, they didn't have guns. You know, right. What spirit left? See, them I think it's a it's a like mixture that. of things. I think mm -hmm. one because the, let's not forget that then white people didn't come over here guns blazing at first. No, they no, came no. with gifts. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, no, friend. That's and what I'm saying. Yeah, well, trade well, went down. Well, and they said, wait a minute. Yeah. Right. I yeah. gave yeah. him some salt and he gave me some gold. Yeah. <laughs> and I think when they came back with guns, I, I'm sure the, the natives had weaponry, but not that, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, know that, though. Yeah. Yeah. And they came I back mean, with diseases, too. That's the That was the big thing. Yeah, they came with That was the big thing. Foreign to them. Well, uh, diseases yeah. will take you out as a mass faster than the gun. That, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That was the thing because they had um, it happened in the in the wild west in America. Yeah, you know when they got in there because yeah. the Europeans had diseases that smallpox had, was not happening yeah. here. Smallpox, uh, yellow fever. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, now the question because you always heard hear the story that they gave them these blankets with. With these Please. diseases in them. Now the question is, do you know, like, like, legit? I'm not trying to pass for anything, but how do 
how do you know if a disease is in a blanket? Because just as a person. Yeah. Not, but for the technology not, did not they have back then. Not yeah, necessarily yeah. disease, but fleas. Remember the yeah, black Yeah, there's definitely oh, the things you can remember, see. Yeah. Remember the black flag? Yeah, that made sense. Yeah, yeah the black flag was rats. fleas. Yeah. It was the fleas on the rats. In that same situation, if you got a bunch of blankets hang out and Stored in some shitty little bed barn bugs. somewhere. Yeah. Bed bugs. And, and I, then, that yeah. has to, that's always been my thought of, you know, you, they have all these supplies, mm -hmm. but they're on the ship for however many months. Right. I can't in my mind see the Europeans going, okay, let's take this can of disease and stuff it on right. here. But I can see them putting it in there and right. during this month, uh, eight, six month, eight month boat trip, it getting disgusting. Yeah. Yes. So, and a lot of, and a lot like meat and stuff, you know, they yeah. didn't have ways to preserve it like they eventually had. Yeah, that's so, why salt was so important. So, yeah, so it's like all that meat wasn't going to necessarily be okay to ingest. But to answer your question, how did they know? They saw the blankets and diseases killing people before they got on the boat. Mm -hmm. I mean, they knew they weaponized, like earlier we talked about uh, the government uh, giving us things and, mm -hmm. and uh, syphilis mm -hmm. or yeah, not to make them weak. Right? That's so it. weaponizing diseases is not new to Europeans. It's not new. It's not new. I guess my question would be, so were they immune to, because again, you're still in close quarters for however many long. But, for you, however, but the whole thing is you can be a carrier and not have Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, yeah. yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, it, and, and then with a lot of diseases like measles and stuff like that, once you've had it, you're pretty much immune to it. It's true. That's, so, that, that's very true. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of weird medical things going on, but the fact still remains, tens of thousands of Native Americans died from nothing but inhaling something or eating it. Yeah. So, yeah. My, my question would be, how, why did it take so long to not even eradicate but get it, like measles, for example, down to a point of point oh 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 as far as the human yeah, population yeah. goes? Mm -hmm. How did they do that? What mm -hmm. technology did they have? What do they call that? Herd. Herd. What do they call herd. that herd. 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 herd when they were doing COVID? They're talking about uh, herd. herd mentality? Herd, yeah. herd immunity. Yeah. Herd yeah. immunity. Herd immunity. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, my question actually going back to like the 50s, mm -hmm. what, what was it, the uh, right. polio, polio. Yeah. What, was, all, was, was out here, apparently. Yeah. Um, but they talk about these cures and all this stuff, and I'm like, I ain't low-key, I, I ain't never seen nobody with polio in my life. Okay. Got to Google yeah. to see what that shit is. Because it, it turned when into we, a bio When we were kids... They, yeah, and I know, I know the president no, uh, Roosevelt had it. Well, supposedly they. Anyway, that's <laughs> another thing. It was something else. Anyway, <laughs> but remember, we would always see like these little kids in the iron lungs and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, we saw. But how do you oh, eradicate you know, that? Like now, it don't exist. Because you know, you know what? It took when I, when uh, I grew a lot of up, years. When I grew up in Asheville, I lived at one end of the block, one thirty-one Bland. At 101 Bland was the Rubens grocery store, and right next to that at 103 was where Tommy Wilson lived. Tommy Wilson had polio, mm -hmm. legit. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I remember going to his house, taking the comic books. And and helping hey, him read. Man, maybe you should move over just a little bit. <laughs> 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 you said, you wrong hey, 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 hey. hey. but, but I say that to say that was some <laughs> seventy years ago, maybe. Yeah. But the last time I was in Asheville, which was maybe five to ten years ago, Tommy. Wilson was still alive, still right? But he had he had a limp, but he, he didn't use a cane or anything. Right. Did he ever get any medical? Yeah, he yeah. did. That's okay. what, but he, That's what, what he did was he credited it all to God. He mm -hmm. said, "Hey, I got I got cured. I've been living a normal life, and I owe it all to God." Mm -hmm. I mean, he was the one to open up the church in the in the morning. He was. I mean, 
So, I don't know. I can't say because I wasn't there. But I do know he had it. I don't understand, though. Is it something you're born with, or is it a disease that goes around? Like, I caught polio. It, well, it didn't It didn't seem to be, um, like, contagious. Like, you know, you just breathing oh, on people. Or See, like and, that. and, and so that's it was a but sometimes, but you I know. Thought, it was a fifth. Yeah. Huh? I thought it was a birth defect. That, and that goes my, into my question. My I'm like, now how come you don't hear about no polio no more? But then, they, I, I, but then they figured out what caused it. That's what they said. And so yeah. then they could... Or they put like prenatal care? Is that what that at cure polio? Something to that amount, Something like that. Remember because if you remember, you. most of the people that had it were children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Remember and that's I where the March of Dimes and all that came from? I had before we fight the boys in St. Louis and I was about four and a half like that. My auntie had it and she could, her arm was always sure. like this, you know? Mm -hmm. But, the, like but most of the but people that had she it, could was, jab with it. She could jail with it. It ain't stuck. It's only <laughs> stuck for a minute. It's just stuck. <laughs> yeah. Snap you with it so quick. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. It's just like it's like smallpox and sickle cell. And, and yellow feet fever, sickle cell. And I, and I know something else. Maybe, lot of, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe it was maybe it was Asheville. I don't know. But we had a kid who was in the same grade as me, and his name was Eugene. And nobody laughed. He seriously had a big ass head. Okay. And he couldn't hold his head up. Oh, and they yeah, called him Waterhead Baby. Oh, that's a different day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I don't know I where that man. came from. Y'all, yeah, that's the down south, man. The but but that was legit, boy. Yeah. Just, There's something oh, yeah. called Williams Syndrome, and it's a lot like that. It's a syndrome. Yeah. yeah. But, I know but the that thing is, it's not as widespread. Like clams or shrimp or something like that, yeah. and they face will swell all up like that too. You know? Oh yeah, allergies are real. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have none except for coconut. But yeah. I mean, you yeah. look at where did you have one? from naturally? <laughs> <laughs> what did they have were there? Then they travel. Trump. Huh? What? No, I didn't. I did not no. say but no. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, he's not a Trump supporter. <laughs> no, I did not. No, I literally, no. Hell to the no. I hate to jump the subject on you, man, but you're right. You know, what do you think is going to really happen with Trump? Because, you know, he's broken a lot of barriers out there when it comes to doing things financially and corruptible and, and not really killing people and shit, you know, but... Well, kind of, yeah. In a way, you know what I'm saying? Indirectly, uh -huh. You know, what do you think the uh, government going to really try to do to him because he's they calm? Can't. Maybe nothing because, you know what, this country is going stone crazy. Completely. Mm -hmm. nuts. Yeah. And, yes. and not, nothing, what may happen is he may be elevated. There may be enough of these crazy motherfuckers out go. here. 70 million last time. Seventy million last time. No, they won't get him in the office. No, no, but, no man. No, no, but the whole thing is, he so far has been able to insulate and isolate himself from that because of all of these. That's attorneys. what he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have you to do one yeah, but, but the thing is, a half on the water. You ask what's gonna happen, happen to him, but you know what? I've always maintained it wasn't. It hasn't been really him. You need to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. It's these motherfuckers that follow him. Exactly. Because they tore up the. Now they. And they, and they had. They tore up the Capitol. I, I mean, that we already the, know the, 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 This is democracy. The heart of democracy. And they just desecrated that. And half of them were. Um, not half, but a lot of them were. Uh, Ex-military. Some of them were current military. A lot of the military in that movie. Yes, a lot of the military, military and ex-military, and and it's like, well, wait a minute. You guys fought for the freedom y'all trying to destroy. Yeah, I it mean, didn't it, make was, sense. it was it a didn't major. Make sense. It, was, it, it didn't it, make sense. It was a uh, what is it, a dichotomy, a paradox. That's why when they did that movie, what was it, platoon? Or do went on and killed the dude that Well, man. see, I now, I watch war movies. I say this. Now, I am not on the side of, uh, what was it, January 5th? Was that the, the, yeah, I'm not on the side of all them folk. But I did see something on TikTok. Um, and uh, dude was asking, he was like, why do you, uh, why do you think schools 
don't teach the Declaration of Independence. Anymore. Yeah. And it was like, the way he broke it down, it was like, because in the Declaration, it says if you as a citizen are not okay with the government to fight back. Yeah, it is your duty. And I was like, well, yes. It is your duty. And I was like, I ain't lying. Government. That's true. Now, the way January 6th happened was, like, inverted. Yeah, yeah. But. Still no. I was like, you know what? It could be that change that was that's, coming. You, you know, don't do it. You know? Because that's, that's not wrong. That is in the Declaration of Independence on in which this country was founded. I'm right. doing quotes. But the um, whole thing is, you have... You, it, you but have they don't teach it. The government but fight you, back but right you have to have you know? enough of this segment of a, enough... Of the of a segment of the population to take over and control that power, but people won't do that if they don't even know you have that power and they don't teach it. So well, people, that's so that's, that's why I say I'm, I'm like conflicted with the January sixth again. It was inverted, so I don't agree with why they were doing right. all of that stuff. But if we gonna talk about what this country is like, the letter of the law and all that stuff, it's like well. If in their eyes y'all are fucking up, they're doing what y'all told them to do. Well, well, let's rewind just a little bit. They're doing what Despicable urged them to do because he was trying to push a movement that the election wasn't fair. Mm -hmm. It's been proven it is fair. So to your point, is it the people not happy with the government or the followers of this little American Hitler guy, mm-hmm. are they bidding? Are no, they so that's, that's, yeah. that, that's right. exactly right. it. When I say it's inverted, I, right. um, because I'm saying that this group of people, uh, Americans, have an opinion on something. Now, when you talk about the government messing up, their opinion is based on what one person said, right. not of what's actually happening. Exactly. That's why I was like, that's inverted, and I don't agree with what you're going, where you're doing but that. But, to be fair... If something was happening and a group of people said, hey, government, you're messing up here, and they decided to January 6th yeah, the whole situation, yeah. but it was something different, I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with that. Again, it was... But we I think that's that. what the capital <laughs> represents. But no, you we, know, if that's uh, what well, we, the capital uh, represents. We've gone through that. Uh, remember, yeah. oh, I don't know, the Vietnam War? Yeah. There was a lot of people. There was thousands. There was... There was 25,000 people in the streets of Seattle. And it wasn't even our war. Our borders were it never was, in danger. It was not yeah. at all. I, don't, I still to this day. And they, and they had, there was war. tens yeah. of thousands of people in Chicago. They were the whole world that. was watching. You're talking 10,000 No, but kids. what, I, but what, I'm, yeah. but what yeah. I'm saying is, compared to the size of the crowd at the Capitol. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay? It wasn't like yeah. if you if you had like several million people all on the same thing, then somebody might listen. But if you have a few thousand people somebody here, somebody sitting up there close to that president here, here, and, and then it was one of the generals or something did not step up well, and they held back if because you, they show us sonic wave guns, yeah, rifles that'll shoot two miles. But that goes both you know, ways. They cuss you have guys. Helicopters, infrared at night and stuff. You, there's nowhere for you to hide if you decide to go against them. That's what they were saying, but they didn't do anything. One dude did. Every when the dude kicked the door in, when the broad kicked the door in, the dude said, pow! Hey, this is what we told you. Every we had the same some, problem in number. When somebody attacked the Capitol, troops just popping out the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and it was just that like, happen that every day is, they know? say go. Well, I said, I told myself, I said, yeah. well, uh, where are the numbers? You know, when we brought about change in the 60s and stuff, bam, every leader we put out there, bam, 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 bam. Every college student that could rise, bam, 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 bam. They went to college and shot up people. They yeah. shot Ohio. Up the kids. They shot up the yes, kids the day. governor. Dude went up in the yeah. tower in Texas and did the whole sniper thing. Yeah. Right. Police on uh, Howard Johnson. He was up there for two weeks before they even knew he was dead. Remember they that? went up there on the roof and ended up shooting each other. Remember that? Remember when the when the police were outgunned in L.A. Oh hell yeah! yeah. 
These no, guys no. have these guys have full body armor and and North and Hollywood. The, the, that's yeah, a yeah, bank yeah, robber. Yeah, yeah, bank yeah, robber in New California. Yeah. yeah, and they robbed the bank and they had a standoff for hours. The police had to actually go to gun shops uh -huh. to get weapons yeah. to deal yeah. with them. And, and they had to and, call away for the military to Yeah, show they had to get uh, like armor piercing rounds and stuff because yeah. they were outgunned. That's what I'm saying. So you I know, mean, there's still there's no, so much, there's please, no, you gotta have there's a no slap in the face for doing wrong in the United States right now like that. You know, who they are attacking is those that are coming up. It's the youth and stuff. And they're, why, they're literally whoa, attacking whoa. them. Man. Speaking of attacking. Why are people always attacking schools? What is that about? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it does Why? Uh, listen, you there's know? no register yeah. there, man. Listen. What? I, listen. I mean, <sighs> why? It, it doesn't make any sense mm -mm. for you to hold training uh, with weapons right. in a fucking grade school. Yes. What the fuck? Fuck is your damn problem? Why? And I mean, it's so weird that people are. There was remember there was a thing about the postal workers, right? Now they're all disgruntled. Yeah. There's yeah. post offices and they're attacking. And they went and shut that up, right? But now yeah. it's schools, and these are just little innocent kids. What's yeah. next? You know, like high from, from like yeah. elementary schools and but, stuff. But, but they've done it enough now that those kids, some of those kids, are coming back. To shoot up the fucking school. Exactly. Well, yeah, and listen. Uh, that, and it's probably that, Dave Chappelle an has, problem. Dave Chappelle has the best joke on that. I mean, it's not a joking matter, but, but that's what I'm talking about. He said, they got these, these kids doing um, mass shooter dr uh, drills. Yes. And he's yeah, like, yeah. not knowing the mass shooter is in this group of kids right. talking about where do we meet? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh, but this whole thing. I mean, it's so weird. And they go, well, yeah, uh, this one's a former student. Or, yeah, this kid, you know. And, this and is then, a former student who was a former male. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, that's it. So they tried to make something of that, but too. No. That was yeah. but, you have, but you have all the, the kids in the schools. When, when I was six years old, and I get pissed off at the teacher, I didn't think to pull out a thirty-eight and blow her away. No. You know? Or my six tongue. Years but I don't old. know. I came up where, you or know, you know when things got six, too damn six, rough six and years. crazy. Yeah. No, Dude, but we're I, coming to school with a pistol in their pocket. Fine, but that there. was the <laughs> exception <laughs> rather than the rule. Yeah, because that, cause that's shit. Now, now you just assume somebody's strapped. You don't even, you know, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume, you, you so better. here's the thing. Back in the day, we knew who was strapped. Yeah, Because yeah. that's you know, like, okay, you got here. here. Here's what's fucked you up. Know, is I, I can assume, I, in school, I would assume that there were certain kids that probably had guns on them right. at my school. But I never once assumed that a black person, because we've had guns pulled at Franklin while I was there mm -hmm. three or four times, lockdown. Yeah. Never was it a black person that actually pulled a gun, unless uh, during a fight was one. Yeah. Right? But it was always a white person. Yeah. Black people don't be shooting up schools. That That's no. a lot of heat. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Garfield and Franklin got saying. into it out there with Tim Metcalf and uh, Noble and all of them. Out there, they said it's guns were pulled bad. Then this teacher came in from uh, yeah, came from New York or somewhere. He come into school and he kept him a 38 on him and stuff, you know. Had nerves to get up in the auditorium and introduce himself and like that. And everybody was still mumbling, shooting the shit and stuff like that. And he gonna tell us all, shut up you motherfuckers. And <laughs> everybody looked at him like, you can't talk to students like that. <laughs> <laughs> Even I think the next day everybody was telling you something. You know? <laughs> that helped that helped everybody started the assembly. Mr. Yeah. Tucker. Yes. That was his name. Oh, Mr. Shut Tucker. up, dude. <laughs> like, I'm the law around right here. You know? Oh, you yeah. didn't run out there when everybody no. busted out of the classroom to go out there and save Terry from some mess out and that stuff, you know. Man, we mm -hmm. Same yeah. dude that I ended up having a squabble with. But, you know, we ended up friends afterwards because I knew that was just part of it when you get in them schools. No, oh, man, I'm like, I just don't understand bullies, why these people want to go back and just shoot up the school. 
That's my main, my main concern. My main and I and I, 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 I walk off HL saying this, but listen, man, if you got a beef with one, two, three people. Go handle that handle beef with them. Right. Yeah. Like, Don't bring right. nobody else in on the shit or nothing. Knowing you ain't even got no damn good aim. You just in the crowd. Yeah. Like, man, get out of here. Yeah, what kind you of know? shit was that? Like, what the shit that happened to Offset, man, out there? Just shooting little craps with the oh. like, talking oh, shit. I, right. Well, I think that. they said, oh, the dude's gun went off by accident. No, what I think the hell they, is? somebody put a hit out on that. Yeah, band. they and put I, a hit on and, it. And on they were going after Offset. And on top of that, why is it? When you become at a certain level in entertainment, do you not kind of disengage yourself from that lifestyle? Um, well, there's just a couple of things. No, I know, but I'm yeah, not about it. There's a common sense of yeah, it. Yeah, that's I thought, what I'm I thought saying, it was but early. I know, you know. I thought it was uh, early. Uh, a lot of them right. tried, but a lot of them can't. Well, I mean, it's just like back back to, to, to Biggie and Tupac. Yeah. But you know, a lot of that stuff, you know, which is has been proven is a lot of these rappers that end up dying mm -hmm. um after an album or two, the their record labels take insurance mm -hmm. out on them. Oh, yeah. So once they die, they get the insurance and their record sales goes up. That's mm -hmm. been a proven thing. Yeah. Sure. So sure. I mean that's but I mean the thing is you 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 have this segment of society where things work that way. That's the way it is, and until people find out, or the, or the right people find out, it's going to keep going yeah. that way. Yeah. So you know, but uh, like I say, I you know now they're, they're like, well, we're going to ban assault rifles. I'm going, well, I think y'all, that's like closing the damn gate after the animals done escape. Yeah, and the only one all the people that's us. got all, all the people that want automatic weapons have them. Yes. <laughs> so, and I'll be like, you know, yeah, like, this yeah, is just watch, a me thing. I shoot guns. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I to go to the gun. gun range and shoot. But I'm like, I'm not a fan of guns like that just because mm -hmm. guns kill people. And, and, you know, people kill people. And so my thing when they be like, we're going to ban a certain type of gun. I'll be like, well, yeah, okay. Why? So what about the other one? That yeah, one yeah, still why? Why? kills not, perfectly. Not only that, <laughs> but, but in a lot of well. cases... The guns are stolen. So when you right. buy a gun right. and you got it in your house for protection, and while you ain't there, somebody breaks in and happens to find it, it's gone. Right. Right. Yeah. And then a lot of times, people, when people are breaking people's houses, they get shot with their own damn gun. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's a whole yeah. gun ownership thing. You know, I, hey, if you want to collect guns, that's fine. You know, if you want to, but. The whole thing is, well, to that mentality you're trying yet. to you're Rain trying to blame West, something yeah. that's yeah. already yeah. happening. It's pretty bad. I mean, if 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 yeah. you wanted, if with all yeah. this talk now about banning these weapons, you think the people that want them don't already have them? Right, right. So now you just go take this and make it a surplus, and I never understood why well, people what? in right. regular life needed surplus assault rifles what, anyway. Though? But you know. Yeah, now it's starting for what? Just sell the people the, they already got the right plus. weapons. Yeah. You know, just sell them. The, me myself, I want a shotgun with with uh, the dragon fire. Okay, whatever that is. It's a shell that when it hits the target with darts and everything, it catches some fire too. Oh wow, incendiary round. That's why I said I'm the only one that watched John Wick. Because what the John Wick, but wait, final, but wait, 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 for to handle their business and stuff like that. Right. Oh, and he do. was part of it and then he fell in love and decided that he wanted to quit. Ooh. And there is no quitting. Sounds like a spoiler alert. Right. Well, yeah, I'm trying to not get it up. That's, hey, yeah, that's come in on, one. Now. And one, no, but if wait, you watch but number right. one and you watch number four, no, but so wait, you'll bro, have bro, a whole story. Serious question. But, but wait, yeah. but wait, it's time to, we, it's, 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 you were in the military, weren't you? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, right. though, he hyped up. He's like, I, I know, know about that. What the shit? Okay. Anyway, uh, it's about that time. That's what he wants to say. He puts the safety on. 
So it's time for us to get up out of here. We done ran out of time. We ain't ran out of fun. We ain't ran out of conversation. And ain't gonna run out of life so, Man, so we go, we're going to be back with some more good stuff next time around. So I, I'm your co-host, host, 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 David host. H. Da, 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 a.k.a. Sweet Sunny D, a.k.a. Sometimes Cakey's, a.k.a. Sometimes Baker. And you are... The boy one. Whoa. All right. He's already, he's okay. I'm cool and with I'm it. I'm the real Cliff Barnes. Thanks for stopping in, and remember, like us, share us, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Say it loud podcast, and our section, our set, uh, our our part of the damn thing <laughs> is <laughs> old black men conversations. Good night, good afternoon, good morning, see you next time. I'm out. Are you going to do your, did you already do your, uh, safety thing tip? Of the, oh, out of the oh, bear or whatever it was? Oh, yeah, sure. I always, I always come with that. I always, I always come with that. Remember, safety tip. Freedom is free of feeling the need to be free. Free your mind, and your ass will follow. The kingdom of heaven is within. Peace. Thank you and good evening. <laughs>